Okay. Now the first thing you see when you log into Onshape is the document page, which is this page right here. Kind of think of it as the home page. This is where you can access all the documents you create, documents that are shared with you. Everything can be accessed from this page. Now, in regards to our first talking point here of what Onshape is, that really boils down to more of what a document is inside of Onshape. Now, a document in Onshape isn't like a traditional, you know, like like a project would be inside of a Fusion 360 or something like that, or a SolidWorks file. It's it's different in that you can store any file type inside of a document in Onshape. And when we get in, you'll see how it manages those having tabs across the bottom of the screen. But you can upload JPEGs. You can upload. I've I've gone as far as to put ZBrush files in Onshape just to be able to get them from one computer to another. So it can kind of act as a a cloud storage system for either your CAD files, your pictures, whatever you want to do or upload into it, you can pretty much pull off. So let's go ahead and make our document though so we can get inside of Onshape, inside of a document and look at the workspaces available to us and then start uploading our files from the materials folder. So I'll go ahead and hit create and I'll just title this one Onshape Design a 3D printer. And I'll go ahead and leave it set to private here just because I I can, but go ahead and make it public, whatever you want to do. It's all up to you. Now when we're brought into the document, the first thing that happens or that you should be able to notice here on the bottom is that we have Part Studio 1 and then Assembly 1. These are the two main workspaces inside of Onshape. So a Part Studio is where all of the modeling occurs so this is where all of our components will be made. This is where our sketches will be done. Everything that involves modeling, editing, all that will be done in a part studio. Then you take those parts that were made in a part studio and you put them in the assemblies. So that you bounce back and forth is kind of the workflow I've devised where you can check things in the assembly to make sure they fit together, but design them entirely in the part studio so you don't have this messy tree of you know, transforms and everything else. You either you have all the modeling here and then all the assembly stuff here. So two separate feature trees. Now, drawings inside of Onshape, just because I, I promised I would point it out, so I will. If you go down and hit the little plus down here, it says create tab. That's what everything is here. So that's how you create part studios, you create assembly, create drawing. And when you click on that, this is where all of your templates are. So you get your ISO standards, all that good stuff. It's all on here. You just create it. You can select the four views, no views. You have to have a, a component first to select to do it. But we may go over this with the shafts um, for, the, for the vertical risers on the Delta printer if we need to. The main reason to choose Onshape for doing a big project like this, in my eyes, is that it saves constantly. Even right now, as we just sit here and kind of orbit around this plane here by right-clicking and holding down, it, it's saving everything we do. Every sketch we would make right now, it saves real time. So you never have to worry about losing something and you're, you're you know, deep into a design. You don't have to worry about it all of a sudden, you know, pop and all your computer fries and it's gone. There's no, no need to worry about that or worry about, you know, always hitting control save, control save. None of that. It all happens in the background magically for us. So navigation inside of Onshape, I kind of give you a little teaser there, but to pan around, you are going to click your middle mouse button and hold it down, and that's how you're going to pan around. To navigate, or, or kind of to, to orbit, as it were, you're going to hold down the right mouse button, and then drag your mouse around, and that'll orbit. And then to select is left click, and then you can drag also in both directions. This is to select whole, either whole sketch entities or whole bodies. And if you go this way, it's going to just single out the one thing that is touching the box. So, and then to bring up the context menu, this is something that's that's worth touching on in this quick little uh, kind of intro to Onshape uh, video here. If you left click, that brings up the context menu. What's in here will change depending on what we have selected and what's, what's highlighted. That will all change depending on what's in here. So as we get going, if you have an edge selected and you right click to bring up the context menu, you'll see you have your fillets and your chamfers, everything inside of there, um, inside the context menu to apply. Now that we kind of have the basics out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the kind of the nitty gritty here and get going and upload our course materials into this document so we can get going. I'll see you in the next lesson.